It might be too bright, but I'm unboxing stuff anyway. Let's go. Let's do the inverter first. Okay, let me go get it. I gotta go get it, man, relax. All right, this was sent to me by Vivor. Vivor is one of those companies that slings a lot of stuff. I reached out to Setite. He was talking to me about Vivor long before they reached out to me. All right, we got a communication cable. We got some beastie wires for connecting to the battery, duh. Probably some type of screen of some sort for the communication cable. There you have it. And let's pull this thing on. It's surprisingly light. It is a 2000 watt pure sound wave inverter. The thing that I'm excited about with this one is you know I have that Bougie V inverter, right? Oh, it's a 2500 watt inverter. I feel like it's kind of plain Jane, which I'm not complaining about. The Bougie V, it does this thing where the voltage dips sometimes. I've had this problem with power stations that are 110. My only 120 power station was the AC200P, which did not come from Blue Eddy. Me and Jason Noy kind of worked some things out. Shout out to the good brother Jason Noy. And so the Bougie V was going to be the second leg of 120 because it's my only other 120 device. Well, even though it's better than 110, sometimes it dips down to 116, 117, 118. It doesn't stay at 120. I'm hoping this one does. Vivor, Viva Los Mexico. Let's do the companion. There's a companion device that I'm gonna grab. Box number two. I'm gonna chop this up. Now this company reached out to me and they did really well in another battery review on Solar Will's channel. I have oh, another battery. This is the watt cycle. Let's turn it around. Well, I mean, I guess it says the same thing on both sides. <laughs> this is a 12 volt, 280 amp hour. My Tim got is 300 amp hours, but it says it uses the same, it has the same capacity, but it's a mini version mini Ooh, this joker is heavy <laughs> holy moly i have another battery wait one second because i feel like it should have some lugs in here okay here they go lugs so it's a smart dip <laughs> it has bluetooth connectivity i don't know what else it has going on for it this is the typical little i think these are m8 brackets is it going to zoom on focus on that these are the M8 style brackets, I presume. I think I looked it up, but why cycle? Will tore one of their batteries apart. I think it was a 100 amp hour heated and it did pretty, it did pretty good. I feel like David Manning when I said that. Uh, pretty good. <laughs> he does that a lot. <laughs> Shout out to David Manning. That dude has so many subscribers. One day y'all, one day. Like the video. How about that? I'm gonna have to start saying like the video. Because people don't like the, they do like the videos. Hardcore people like, let's get back to the unboxing. Okay, battery. So, yeah, look. Oh, it has a 200 amp hour, a 200 amp BMS. Okay, let me turn this around. Oh, I don't want to mess my wife's table situation up. This is our kids' uh, homeschool table. You can see right here, 3584, 3584. How is this getting that much watt hour capacity? at 280 volts. All right, this is an unboxing. Let's continue. All right, the next box, holy moly. Man, compared to that battery, this is light. This Blue Eddy situation is interesting. Interessante. It's a budget device. So it's not anything that helps me per se, but I don't just get devices for my sake. I get devices for the community. This is the PS72. This is Blue Eddie's, I'm just gonna call it a budget friendly EB70. I feel like Casey Nice that doing a mail time. Oh, that is weird. It has these different handles, right? But the handles, you have to open them up. Typically, you open handles up like this from the outside, but these you open from the inside like a grocery cart or something. I don't, that is weird. One thing I do like about this that is an improvement, it has a diffused light on the back. I'm happy about that. I say it's the same as the EB70 for the most part because it is. It has more outlets than the EB70. The EB70 has four. This one has five, but it is smaller. Jason and I may have talked about this on his EB55 video, which is the tap may turn the screen on and then a more intentional press may turn the button 
off. That's what I'm kind of experiencing. Anyway, we'll deal with that in a video. We saved the best for last. Pecron. Pecron hollered at your boy and was like, hey, yo, we could send you the E1500. That's what I have. Okay, we got a Pecron hard case, which I never care about. And it's funny because I have multiple power stations. Having a box doesn't help me because I have to put this stuff in stuff anyway because I have so many of them. But a box for you might be a good thing. So it has a box. This is the remix. The Pecron EA Sports. It's in the game. This is supposed to be able to give me 120 volts. Another option for 120 volts. You remember I talked about the inverter from Bouge RV having that smart start, soft start stuff that allows the voltage to fluctuate. I think this is going to be another option to give me 120 with more solar input. So it gives me the ability to put panels in series and not have to do parallel. Thank you, Lord. Um, <laughs> it has a ton of solar that can go into it up to 700 watts. I believe you can dual charge it and have an extra 100 watts come in. The reason why I like this port right here, the 5521, is because when power stations are running my home, my home over certain periods of time, outside of when we're cooking, we don't use a whole lot of power. So getting easily 100 watts in through 5521 is going to be clutch for me. It's going to be clutch. I feel like I should have did a live stream to do this. I could do a live stream right here unboxing stuff. Dang, that would have been cool. Oh, this is an unboxing. So let's see what's in the... The little box because Pecron is known for their accessories. So you got your charge cable, no more power brick, which is clutch. You have your MC4 to its weirdo connector, um, which I'm not the biggest fan of. You have 12 volt to 5521 for 12 volt charging, which is cool. This is something I'm very excited about. This is a battery clamp to xt60 a lot of my power stations my well i shouldn't say a lot the ace volt is gone the Acatel is still around but the a fiery i believe has it i had a couple power stations that had high amp xt60 outputs and this one does too what this will allow me to do is grab power in from the inverter i'm sorry the solar and then i could easily power dump into a battery during the review, I'm definitely going to try that to see how much power I can get into a battery from here. It may be enough to get it up to like 80, 90%, which I think is dope. Unboxing is cool. I think I have the personality for unboxing. I don't like watching people unbox stuff because I think it's just, it's whack. But my unboxings, I've enjoyed them. <laughs> I've enjoyed my unboxings. Ivan, it don't matter if you enjoy them. It matters if the people enjoy them. I actually like the sitting at the table in the living room. It's pretty cool. What do y'all think? All right, y'all be beautiful.